Now that the little boys have seen Mutant Mayhem, it's time for the real men to stand up. Am I right, fellas? Am I, am I right? So back in 2014, it had been seven years since we got a Ninja Turtles movie, the last one being the animated one which is, I think, a continuation of the live action ones from the 80s and 90s. I'm I'm still not 100% sure. I mean, they showed Shredder's helmet, so I think it's a continuation. But regardless, we had only gotten a smidge of Ninja Turtle content. 2012 show was great, except for the whole plot where, you know, Donnie was in love with April, which is still weird, and they're still doing it. It's weird. Stop doing it. It's not right. I'm calling the cops. In between around like 2011 to 2014 when the movie actually came out, it was talks going on about a new live action Ninja Turtles. Oh, but this one's gonna be directed by Michael Bay. You know, he just done the Transformers movies. Everyone was freaking out. Oh man, he's gonna Bayify the Ninja Turtles. Michelangelo's gonna punch somebody and explosion's gonna happen. Bam! And to me, I didn't really give a fuck. I just wanted to see Ninja Turtles in live action on the big screen again. And then it happened. The trailer came out, and I'm not gonna lie, those motherfuckers were and still are ugly. These things look crazy, man. Look at them. Why does he look like that? My 13-year-old brain walking in there. You know, when you're 13 years old, you think you're finally grasping the concept of what's good and what's bad. But the truth is, you don't know what's good and what's bad when you're 13 years old. I'm walking in there after watching countless YouTube critics thinking I know what a good movie is gonna be. I'm like, oh man, this movie is gonna be fucking dog shit. I'm not gonna like this movie whatsoever. And I walked out an hour later and I was like, bro, I turned to my brother. I said, bro, that was P Fiction. Look, bro, look, it's okay to like bad movies, bro. There's nothing wrong with having fun when you're watching a movie. The movie can be absolute dog shit and you can still find enjoyment in it. This movie was not dog shit, okay? This movie was peak, peak. What the fuck do you expect from a Nickelodeon movie about giant fucking talking turtle? What, what what do you expect? And especially with real world context, at this point, the Ninja Turtles is a household name for thousands of kids across the world, right? It's going to be corny. It's going to be cheesy, okay? No, no one said that it was. It had to be on the dark night time. You know what I mean? No one said that. So upon watching the movie, you know, the plot is bare bones. Uh, April O'Neil, she's a reporter. She's cracking a case about... Random robbers going around New York, trying to discover and get revenge for her dad's death or whatever. Dad was a scientist, also created Ninja Turtles, blah, 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 whatever. Who gives a fuck about that? What I want to talk about is how lit these fucking turtles were in this movie. My favorite turtle, Leonardo, by far, bro. And in this movie, he delivered. He didn't take no shit from nobody, bro. Look at some of these commands he was telling him to do, man. I'm gonna... Enough! Back off, Rap. Oh, I, I only saw Batman once. Shh, don't break it. No, 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 no. Please. How many times do I have to tell you? We don't break things. We fix them. Donnie already wiped the phone, genius. Problem solved. Moving on. Do not say a word about this to anyone. If you do, we will find you. April O'Neil. If we don't make it back, bring the mutagen to Splinter. It can save his life. I don't really think I've ever seen Leonardo be so much of a leader than in this movie. You know what I mean? In the in the 90s movies, it was kind of like, yeah, he's a leader, but like, you know, they're they're all on equal footing. And then in the most recent movie, he's kind of like, uh, uh I, I guess I'm supposed to be the leader, you know? Uh I, I mean I can I'm I'm I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm, I'm I'm trying my best. In this movie, no, fuck that. He's like, Raphael, you're gonna do this, Michelangelo, you're gonna do that. Donatello, do what you do. Bro, I fucking love every second of it, bro. Look at the fighting in this movie, bro. Look at the fighting. Yes, they're seven foot tall. I don't give a fuck, bro. They are laying hands to everybody, bro. Look at this first scene when they first introduced them. Oh, fight scene in this movie had me at the edge of my seat, bro. And the fight scenes alone is why I think this movie is peak. Look at them throwing hands with Shredder at the end, bro. He was lighting them up. And the thing is, you gotta kind of make Shredder overpowered to combat these giant freaks, bro. Look at them. Like I said, they were seven foot tall, 
300 pounds of pop, bro. Bulletproof. Of course he's going to be wearing an Iron Man suit. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it whatsoever. He did what he had to do. It's kind of fucked up how they killed him right and They kind of just threw him off, threw him off the roof. <laughs> so the whole movie, the turtles were... I feel like every scene where the turtles were doing action was actually incredible. Especially the scene where they're going down the mountain and each one of the turtles is doing their own thing. Look at Raphael, man. You see the way he's screaming outside of his truck? Don't even give me a start on Don Teller being the MVP when he fucking activated his bow staff and sent the other truck flying, man. It was, it was great. It was, it was crazy, bro. Now look, this movie does get a lot of flag, but I just want to let y'all know, just because a movie isn't, isn't the most well-written doesn't mean you can't have a good time watching. And to that I say, 2014 outranks every Ninja Turtles movie on the planet. Yeah, including Mutant Mayhem.